Hi everyone, so I'm doing this video to give you guys an update on what I've been doing since I moved to Nicaragua. So I moved to Nicaragua four weeks ago, Sunday, which is today, um, and I moved here to do a volunteer placement with Kuso International, which is a Canadian NGO, um, and I'm here for 12 months. Um, I'm working with uh, an organization called Prolecop, which is a coffee farming cooperative. Um, located in a town called Palacabina, which is in the north of Nicaragua. Some of the highlights, I guess, since I've been here. The first week that I got here, I did my in-country orientation where I got to meet the CUSO staff, um, the people that would be supporting us throughout our placement, as well as uh, four other CUSO volunteers that were starting at the same time as me, um, and that was really nice. And we came at a good time because there was a general meeting the next week um, with all the volunteers that are working in Nicaragua and the staff. Um, and so I got to meet right off the bat um, everyone. And that was really nice just to hear what they were working on, um, what their projects were, as well as like their challenges that they faced um, as volunteers. Uh, I started working at Prode Co-op this past week, so I worked there for a week now. Um, basically, I've just been getting up to date on what's, what they do, how everything works, and just meeting the different um, workers that work there and um, my co-workers um, and different people that I'll be working with. Uh, the first time I got to Palacabina, um, to my house, which is where I'm filming this from, um, I did have a bit of a culture shock, which I was surprised about just because I've had the privilege of traveling to different places and actually living in a few different countries um, and I've never had much of a culture shock but for whatever reason when I came to Paracabina to my house and I was here by myself I suddenly it all came to my head and I suddenly felt this this sense of anxiety and feeling nervous um, and I didn't expect it but I was able to, I guess, overcome it. Um, like I said, like having made friends, I guess, those first two weeks with the other volunteers um, really helped just because a lot of them have gone through similar things um, regarding culture shock. And so having them just a phone call away or a message away has really helped. And uh, I wanted to take this time just to thank everyone who's gone to my fundraising page, um, who's read um, what I wrote there, and who's donated. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, for every dollar that you guys have donated, the government of Canada has donated $9 to CUSO, um, and it's work around the world. Um, and so I really appreciate that. If you haven't gone to my fundraising page, I, re I really encourage you to go. Um, I have there written a bit more in detail why I came to Nicaragua, what I'm doing, and why it's important um, to the communities here and around Palacawina, the work that I'm doing in tourism. And yeah, I'd encourage you to go to the fundraising page. And if you can, I of course appreciate any donations that you guys make to CUSO. Like I said, the government of Canada gives nine dollars for every dollar that you give, and also for any donations, $10 and above, you do get a tax receipt from the government of Canada, which is an extra bonus. Um, for those who would want to, I guess, keep up to date with, them, with what I'm doing, um, I am much more active on Instagram, so I usually try to post a picture every day. I'd encourage you to follow me if you're interested in following, I guess, my new, my new life here in Nicaragua. Um, but that's about it, so thanks.